All right, Kim, thank you. It is 632, and we want to get to breaking news that we're following for you this morning from Detroit's west side. That's where one person, we're told, has been killed in a home invasion. Let's get out to Local force Nick Monticelli, just arriving to the scene, Nick, I know, but have you been able to get any additional information from investigators so far? I actually I have. There's a detective on scene here who told me that this uh, home invasion actually affected a whole lot of people. It happened right behind me here at 345 this morning. I'll get out of the way. You can see the evidence text here from the Detroit Police Department have arrived on scene and have begun what they call processing the scene to try to gather as much evidence as they possibly can to A, help them search for the suspect, and B, when they do catch that suspect, uh, take them to court and have everything they need to prosecute properly. We can show you some video taken earlier at the scene. Again, happening at about 3:45 this morning. The detective telling me the home invasion happened. A 25-year-old is the victim here. He was shot multiple times. The suspect tried to get into the home. Somebody called 911 saying somebody's trying to break into the home. And in fact, there were a total of seven people inside of this house, four adults and three small children. One of those adults, again, the 25-year-old living here, was shot and killed. Uh, paramedics came here, took him to the hospital. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Other than a home invasion, we do not know anything about a motive, what may have happened out here, but we did ask if there was any kind of relationship, if the victims knew the suspect, the detective saying, we don't know anything just yet. As we come back out here live on the scene, you can see this is going to be a long process for detectives and the evidence techs here on the west side. The closest intersection is uh, I-94 and Grand Boulevard. I did ask the detective, is there anything that the people here can do to help you. He said that they would like to know anything about suspicious activity. So if you were in this area of 94 and Grand, saw something that just didn't seem right or saw somebody you thought would have been suspicious, they are asking you to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-SPEAK-UP. We're live this morning on Detroit's West Side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. And Nick, are the neighbors talking at all? I know it's a really cold morning, so people aren't likely to be outside, but that might be helpful to investigators. Yeah, you know, there's a home across the street that investigators have, 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 investigators have been spending a lot of time inside. So hopefully somebody there knows something. The home directly uh, west of this house is actually abandoned, and portions of it look like it has been burned down. So nobody there. I think they're going to get their best information right across the street. And hopefully those people heard or saw something and will speak to police, as well as anybody else that might know something uh, after hearing about this. Nick, thank yeah. you.